Hello, cassette community. Well, today has been a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> um, I was out and about. Uh, I went to um, uh, the Pet Adoption Center and Thrift Shop. Um, and I was thrilled to find a little shoebox that was filled with great tapes. Um, as you can see here. <laughs> Um, but then as, as I was um, checking out, the, the manager there told, informed me that Prince had died. I was like, what? Ah, oh, man. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Anyway. Um, and then this evening, um, you know, my... I, I shouldn't really say my spirits were lifted again because they're certainly not, but um, I, I found some good records, including what I would totally consider a grail. So, and there's a grail on the tapes too. So I, I don't know. You know, it's just one of those days. Um, but you know, that's that's artists. Um, you know, they they obviously can't live forever, but they leave their body of work behind. So, all right, let's get through these uh, quickly. There's a lot to show. Um, I did also pick up a couple uh, CDs. Um, first one is The Thorns. Looks like self-titled from 2003, uh, featuring Matthew Sweet, Sean Mullins, and Pete Droge. So, uh, yeah, kind of a blind buy, but those are, you know, fairly big names in rock and roll. Um, this one, definitely for my international music, couldn't pass that up. Um, Cheb Nazro, Departures. Um, yeah. Uh, just briefly, uh, apparently his style of music is, is Rai or Ray. It's R-A-I. Uh, which means opinion, and the name Cheb Nazaro has long been associated with the beginnings of the Rai musical revolution in North Africa, and so on. Anyway, I I was sold by that point, so <laughs> definitely had to pick that up. All right, now let's get to these tapes. I, just all kinds of good stuff. Um, Buddy Holly, Words of Love. Uh, Bush, uh, Sixteen Stone. U2, Octung Baby. The Black Crows. This might be the first Black Crows in my cassette collection, anyway. Pretty excited about that. Oh, um, Shake Your Money Maker. That's what it is. This is a great album. I love it. Um, Better Than Ezra Deluxe. Oh, another great album. And th this band, their their career was was cut short, and it's it's a it's a crime. <laughs> so good, Blind Melon, self titled, and uh, Green Day, Dookie. The copy I had of this um, was not a good one. So uh, Aerosmith. Toys in the Attic. Uh, I probably have a copy, but you know, it doesn't hurt to have a backup. Uh, Brian Adam uh, cuts like a knife. I didn't even check these. I, I just they were only twenty five cents. Um, this was definitely a duplicate. <laughs> I, I probably could have left it behind, but oh well. Um, Hootie and the Blowfish, Cracked Rear View. It's a, a decent album though. <clears throat> uh, in excess, X. I may already have this one. Not quite sure. Um, this is a good one uh, for uh, you know uh, Christian rock if you're into that sort of thing, which I am. Uh, Jars of Clay, uh, their self-titled debut, I believe. Uh, does it have Flood? Yep, Flood. That uh, that that song alone really. Uh, 
made them a crossover act. Um, anyway, um, REM Green. So much good stuff. Green Day Nimrod. I'm trying to hurry because I failed to mention this is a quick and dirty video. Oh, uh, let's save that one. You probably already saw it, but. <laughs> uh, REM Monster. Uh, I don't know if this was resealed. Uh, it looks like it may have been resealed because I don't think it's at the beginning of the tape. But uh, Talking Heads, Naked. Uh, Green Day, Insomniac. Uh, Tom uh, Cochrane, Mad Mad World. The album name sounds familiar, but the uh, I'll say that one too. <laughs> Why not? You know, uh, Cake Fashion Nugget. So much. Uh, Eric Clapton Unplugged. And before I get into the really good stuff, <laughs> I. I couldn't pass this up. I, I showed a picture on the cassette community. Oop, oop, this way. Uh, it's not really focusing. Anyway, it says some kick ass guitar music. <laughs> some kick ass guitar music. I don't remember these CDIT tapes. Ah, it's stuck in there. Anyway. Uh, let me just kind of see. I won't bother showing more. I'm, anyway. <laughs> All right. Now the best three of, of, of the bunch, I think. Um, David Byrne. Um, Self-titled. Very excited about that. Uh, I was just listening to this one. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Bjork. Um, Post. Uh, I was just listening to this in, in, in the car on CD. Um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant album. And my favorite Bjork song, Hyper Ballad. It's, it's kind of depressing, but it's so good. And the Grail. Oh my goodness. I could not believe it when I saw this. Could not believe it. Radiohead, the Benz. Definitely in my top ten albums. Not sure where it falls, but it's, it's easily in my top ten albums. I just love this album to bits. OK Computer is up there, too. Um... It might be just outside of my top 10, but this one, wow. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and put on some prints, or not, but, you know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.